Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Once you insert a picture in Publisher XP or 2003, you should see the picture toolbar. If you do not see it, you can select view from the menu bar, roll your mouse over toolbars, and then select picture. Let's take a look at each of the buttons across the picture toolbar starting at the left and working our way to the right. The insert picture button will allow you to select an image from a file on your computer and insert it into your publication. The insert picture from scanner or camera button will allow you to scan a picture directly into your publication from a scanner or insert one from a digital camera. The color button will give you four preset color arrangements for your image. Automatic, which uses the original colors and shading for your image. Grayscale, which takes the color out of the image and just uses several shades of gray. Black and white, which literally uses only black and white to recreate your image. And washout, which lightens the image and makes it almost transparent. This is a great option when you're trying to create a watermark image. The more contrast and less contrast buttons increase or decrease the amount of color separation between your light and dark colors. The more brightness and less brightness buttons increase or decrease the amount of luminosity for your image. The crop button will turn your mouse pointer into a tool which allows you to trim your image. Cropping an image does not actually delete or remove any part of the image, it simply hides it by moving the border of the visual area. To use this tool, click and drag any of the eight resizing handles around the image. If you make a mistake, you can crop the image back out again by simply clicking and dragging the resizing handles back out. The Line Border Style button gives you a list of line width and border style options for your image. The Text Wrapping button gives you a list of options for the fashion in which your text flows around your image. The Format Picture button will open the Format Picture dialog box. Here, you can control all of the aspects of your image just as you could from the Picture toolbar. However, this dialog box gives you more ability to be specific with your formatting settings. Notice how each tab on this dialog box has one or more of the formatting options that you can see on the picture toolbar. If you make any changes here, click OK to apply them. The Set Transparent Color button will change your mouse pointer to look like a wand. Then, wherever you put that wand in your image and click, will set that color to be transparent throughout the image. It's like a color eraser that only works on one color. The Reset Picture button allows you to reset your image back to its original state. This works like the Undo button, but it undoes every change instead of one at a time. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com/youtube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download.
You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!